Today is the day that people around the world will be pledging to make big changes for their New Year's resolutions. But sticking to these promises can be difficult, just ask Meghan Markle, who once revealed she makes the same resolutions every year as she struggles to keep them. Meghan made the confession on her blog The Tig in January 2016, just months before she met her future husband Prince Harry. And she described some of the habits she'd like to give up as unladylike. She wrote, Run a marathon. Stop biting my nails. Stop swearing. Relearn French. These make my New Year's resolution list nearly, aka actually every, single year. The marathon hasn't happened. The swearing comes in lulls triggered by being overworked or feeling mighty cheeky after a couple of drinks. Then there's the French, a language I studied through high school and then lost as I immersed myself in speaking Spanish with the Argentinians during my stint in Buenos Aires. I have put my little Rosetta Stone headset in my eager ears every year, resolving to do interviews en français, but much to my chagrin, it hasn't stuck. And when it comes to the biting of the nails, well, it still happens with a turbulent flight or a stressful day. It's unladylike. But then again, so is the swearing. Damn it. So in a bid not to disappoint herself that year, Megan decided against making resolutions. She added, for this new year, the only thing I aim to do is to approach life playfully. To laugh and enjoy, to keep my standards high but my level of self-acceptance higher. My new year's resolution is to leave room for magic. To make my plans, and be okay if they sometimes break. To set my goals, but to be open to change. In December 2017, Harry took his then fiance Meghan to the French Riviera to celebrate New Year's Eve with some friends. The group is said to have included Prince Albert of Monaco and his wife, Princess Charlene, who has struggled with health issues throughout 2021. A source claimed at the time, Harry and Meghan were somewhere very private and very expensive. Monte Carlo is party central at this time of year and the word is that the British royals really enjoyed themselves. The fun could well have been laid on by Prince Albert, who is a close friend of Harry's. What's certain is that they were partying like tycoons. Fun around Monaco is never understated and it always costs a fortune. These comments, highlighted the glitzy lifestyle the royals were leading at the time, flying around the world, in comparison to the past two years, which has seen heavy travel restrictions due to the coronavirus pandemic. Monaco's royals were quick to downplay the partying, however, with a spokesperson saying, it must have been private if it was the case, but I don't know about it at all. Harry and Meghan also had to make sure they had an effective security operation during their trip, which they took via a commercial airliner, amid criticism of private jet used by royals. They were accompanied by three bodyguards on a British Airways flight from London to Nice on New Year's Eve, where they took up three rows of economy seats. Once they arrived, they boarded a helicopter for a seven-minute trip to Monte Carlo, before spending two nights in Monaco. Last year, the couple focused on their work and released their first and only episode of Archul Audio on December 29. In the podcast holiday special the couple could be heard speaking to Archie, as they said together, Happy. New. Year. Boom. They also reflected on 2020 and encouraged friends and colleagues including James Corden, George the Poet and Sir Elton John to do the same. In a letter for 2021 published on their Archwell website, they wrote, We believe in the best of humanity. Because we have seen the best of humanity. We have experienced comparison and kindness, from our mothers and strangers alike. They concluded, in the face of fear, struggle and pain, it can be easy to lose sight of this. Together, we can choose courage, healing and connection. Together we can choose to put compassion in action. The new year has some exciting projects for Meghan and Harry, including the Duke's Invictus Games, set to take place in The Hague in the Netherlands in May and June. The Games, which involved sick and injured servicemen and women competing in adaptive sports, has been postponed twice due to the pandemic. Harry's Heart of Invictus project with Netflix has been following some of the competitors and is expected to give a behind-the-scenes insight into the huge event. Meanwhile, Meghan is working on an animated series called Pearl for the streaming giant alongside Sir Elton's husband David Furnish.